Welcome back to Seasons, a devotional that's based on my book by the same name. Remember, you don't need to buy the book in order for you to enjoy or get something out of these little devotions I'm doing here. Today, we're going to talk about His Kindness Leads to Repentance. And this is a pretty heavy topic for me. It's something that I really feel needs to be addressed. My heart grieves when people declare that national disasters, man-made catastrophes, wars, and acts of terror are God's punishments or his judgments over nations and regions. In the same breath that people declare these things as being such, they speak of a coming revival and a harvest of believers who will be drawn to the Lord because of these horrific disasters. I didn't come to the Lord out of a fear of his punishment if I didn't come to him. I came because I needed his forgiveness and I longed for a kind word. I approached him because I realized my life wasn't working. Even at the age of 17, I knew my life was a mess. I was drawn to the cross by his promise to take my broken life and make something beautiful out of it if I would only give it into his hands. I have walked with the Lord for over 40 years now, and I only have met a handful of Christians who came to the Lord because of a fear of hell or a fear of God's angry hand if they didn't repent. I actually have never met anyone who came to know Christ because God destroyed their city or blew down their house. I think if you polled most unsaved people, they would say they wouldn't go anywhere near such a harsh, angry God who would dole out wrath and punishment by destroying their lives, and I don't blame them. I tend to run in the opposite direction of angry, wrathful people, even if they are yelling at me that they're the only ones who could save me, I would still run in the other direction. Police officers and first responders are trained to approach those that they are trying to rescue in such a way that would not cause them to run and hide. That's the reason why firefighters invite kindergarten classes to their fire hall so they can see firefighters in all their gear and realize they're not scary monsters. As I mentioned in the last video that I did, I worked with refugees who escaped horrific brutalities inflicted upon them by their own people. Those who came to the Lord during those harsh times came to him through those who modeled God's unselfish love, mercy, generosity, and forgiveness. Very few Christians survived the brutality of the Khmer Rouge, but those who did make it out the other end repented for not reaching out to their neighbors with the true gospel. They repented of idolatry and presumption that bad things never happened to good people. God's conviction, however, only came after they were in a place of safety and far away from what they were enduring. During the time that they were fighting for their lives, they clung to the grace and mercy and love of God, and he saw them through those terrible times. There's an old worship song from the 1990s. It's your kindness that leads to repentance. It's your blood that brings forgiveness. It's your mercy that leads me here to your throne of grace. Perhaps at some other time I'll go into my testimony, but suffice it to say, I grew up in a pretty dysfunctional home where there was a whole lot of anger and where we were punished severely for stuff that we didn't even do. I cannot even imagine or fathom where I would be today without somebody introducing me to the God of love. All those areas of my life that I needed to repent of and ask forgiveness for were really not dealt with for years after I accepted the Lord. I thank God that someone didn't introduce me to an angry God 
before the God of love could capture my heart.